Welcome to Two Old Guys Talking About Stuff That Matters. <laughs> hey, Art, today I got something that really does matter. Hmm. Um, we, we're good at palaver, but this is not palaver. This is real important stuff for seniors. Um, I guess it was a, maybe about six weeks ago, I was at a luncheon where the guest speaker was the, the San Diego District Attorney, Summer Stephen. Hmm. And uh, very smart, uh, together woman. San Diego is a pretty large county, one of the largest in the U.S., uh, probably close to Los Angeles County. At any rate, so she has dozens and dozens of, dozens of lawyers working for her. And one of the things they do is they uh, answer uh, 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 scam calls aimed at seniors. And so she shared with us uh, one of the most prominent scams that's going around uh, for seniors. And here's here's the premise. You get a phone call and it's your grandchild and they're distraught and they, they, they're, they've been in an accident. They need uh, help and they need money, uh, bail money. And, uh, and, and you, then they put you in touch with somebody who's going to take your credit card and, and they take your money. So, Sure enough, with about four weeks later, I get a, I'm sitting in a parking lot waiting for my wife at the doctor's, and the phone rings. I get this phone call. Grandpa, 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 I don't need a, I need a. who is this? It was an unlisted number. Hmm. And uh, I said, who is this? Who is it? It's your grandson. I've been, in the, I've been in an accident, and I think I might have killed somebody. The woman had a baby, and she was in the other car, and the car's a record. I mean, I've been arrested. I go, wait a minute, wait a minute. Who, who, who is this? It's your grandson. Which, which grandson? And like a fool, I fell in the blank for them. Mm -hmm. Now, I've already been listening to, to the attorney general saying, by the way, don't answer any questions. <laughs> don't fill in the blanks for them. Don't get all they know is you're a grandparent, right? And I so I say, which grandson is this? Is this Trent? Uh. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah. Of course, it's going to say yeah, it's Trent. So he, then he goes on, and I realize at that point that I'm not getting any straight answers. Uh, he's totally just. You have to promise me you won't tell anybody. I need you, just you. I, you gotta help me. You gotta help me. I'll help you. I'll help you. I'll say, don't worry. So the first question I asked is, where are you? I'm downtown. Well, now I'm in San Diego. I happen to have a Los Angeles telephone number, area code number. Mm. So downtown could be San Diego, could be Los Angeles. Could be any city in the country. This guy could be calling from Cleveland, for all I know. I'm, I'm in, I'm in downtown, and I'm, 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 I've been arrested, and I need your help. Where are you? I'll, I'll come get you. Mm. Oh no, don't come get me! Oh no, no, you talk to the lawyer. The lawyer's going to call you, and he's going to tell you how much, how much the money to pay for the bail. So you can see where this is going. I've didn't figure it out right away because these guys are good. I'm telling you, this was class acting. Well, by the Burr. way, before you go a little further with this, uh, it so happens that I just saw a couple of articles on this. So it's, it is very uh, uh, current as it's something that's happened. They're using AI now and they do enough yes. research so that they uh, kn know it's, I'm not going to uh, re rename uh, your grandson's name because then you're going to get 27 other phone calls. But but it sounds just like them, yes. and it maybe they've done enough internet searching and Facebook and stuff like that that they get a couple of key facts in there that that help uh, uh, do that. So anyway, what was the resolution of this? Because uh, I get hit by these scams all the time, and I, I'm sure many in our audience do. Not this one, but others like it. But how did this one yeah. resolve? Uh, I, I, it resolved very simply. Um, I hung up the, the kid. First of all, it could have been any young man between 18 and 25. Mm. The voice was under such stress. Great acting. Um, no mention of where or when or names or dollar figures. Talk to the lawyer. The lawyer will call you in a few minutes. Do you promise me you're going to help me? Mm. Do you promise me it's you? You're going to help me, not anybody else. Yes, I promise. I promise. 
put the phone down. I call my son. I say, listen, I just got a call. It could be a scam. Where's Trent? What's he doing? Could he be in an accident? He said, no, it's not. He's. I know where he is. He's fine. There's no accident. This is a scam. When the lawyer calls you to get your credit card, right, and, and pay the bail, tell him the FBI is monitoring the phone call. Hmm. So the lawyer calls, and I go through a bunch of questions with the, with the lawyer, <laughs> including things like, so give me the case number. Whoops, I don't know. I hit the wrong button there. Sorry. Give me the case number. And the guy couldn't give me a case number. He did. Yeah, there is no case number. You know, it's a kid in Cleveland on the phone. And um, and the other thing that, by the way, the, the attorney general, Summer Stevens, uh, God bless her, great attorney general for the county of San Diego. Uh, she said, everybody needs to have a family password. So if this happens, because they're so good and so many people fall for this, she said, you want to be able to call somebody and uh, or whoever, whoever it is on the on the phone. You say, what's the password? And if they are really, truly a member of your family, they'll know the password, whatever it is, stagecoach, blue sky, whatever whatever the password is, they'll say it and you'll know it's for real. Mm. Um, and then you can approach this completely differently. So that was great advice. But the important thing is that this is going around. I, you know, I didn't believe this would ever happen to me. But as you say, it's so pervasive that uh, we're reading articles about it. Yeah, I think I think also uh, uh, where basically uh, uh, they try to prey on seniors who may not be that up on uh, uh, the uh, internet and other things like that. Sure. I keep getting uh, uh, things um, uh, hacked, who knows from where, uh, that say uh, your email account is being frozen, uh, you haven't paid or something like that. And it's always addressed to something like, uh, Mr. Kirsch, comma, and a first name. Okay, well, maybe one of the pseudonyms I've used someplace. So, but in yeah. any event, I, so click here and we can straighten this out right away. Once you click on, they've got access to your computer. So, oh. uh, or yeah. you're going to give them a credit card. So, what you do, what I always do is first of all, I ignore them and I put them in a spam folder. And then I call the company or contact them through my original sign on. And invariably, and it's happened to me with uh, email, uh, where they're looking yep. for, they're always looking for a credit card uh, number. Yeah. Uh, banks, uh, I think Wells Fargo uh, has been hacked so many times, but you get this, and also when you get a phone call and it's, uh, for most of us, we have a smartphone, so we know who's calling, okay? Because yeah. it comes up from your contact list. If it's not there, then I don't answer it even the rare case is I'm expecting a confirmation of a doctor's appointment, and I might do it if it's a local area, but they're smart enough now they get local uh, spoof uh, area code. So in yeah. Orange County, they put 949. What I'm saying is that uh, I always let these things go to voicemail because invariably they don't leave yeah. uh, a message because I don't want you to call them back because you can't call them back. Uh, right. So the thing is you've got to be careful. And, yeah. uh, but uh, unfortunately, sometimes I even succumb to answering a, a phone call. Uh, and then you find out that, you know, they, they're trying to sell you something or this is the last yeah. big chance. But you, but, but what they do is they, they tug at your heartstrings for a grandchild. And when oh. they get to refuse it, a lot of people just don't understand it. And they, they fall for it. They, they get the bank account straight. It, listen, these people are professionals, yeah. and they're very good at what they do, and you shouldn't feel bad about getting scammed. I thought I would recognize a scam, not not right away. I mean, I almost started falling for it until I started asking more details and uh, couldn't get straight answers. By the way, you brought up a very good point, that this is only going to get, and the AG uh, at hey, San Diego yeah. repeated that, this is only get worse because of AI, they, they somehow they knew that I was a grandfather and somehow they got my phone number, all right? That's all they needed. They didn't need to know where I live or anything else. But once they get a voice recording, my voice or my grandson's voice or my something, once they get that voice, the AI will be able to duplicate that voice perfectly 
and there won't be any question about uh, and worse than that, it's going to be able to do a response to a question. Yes. Uh, so, yeah. uh, in any event, uh, beware. Um, uh, research the internet on what some of these scams are. But right. if, if it doesn't sound legit, then, you know, you can feign just being so nervous and huh, I can't take a, I got to go take my pill and hang up and see if they so catch your breath. Okay, because yeah. the chances are there's nothing that is going to be uh, so important, even in a real situation, that it right. can't wait for a follow up of let me come down and get you at the, at the police station or or uh, get to the, the yeah. I won't tell your parents, but I'll be at the hospital in, in an hour. Yeah. Where are you? You know, that yeah. Kind of thing. And, and yeah, get yep yeah, right. Get the physical information, get a phone number, get the names, write all that down. If it's real, you'll be able to trace it down and help. If it's not yeah. real. You'll protect yourself. Right. So beware. A scam. Yeah. Seniors are victims of scams every day. Not because we're stupid, just because we're vulnerable. We care. Because we care. Right. Yeah. Thanks, John. For more on Celebrating Act Two, visit our webpage, follow us on Facebook, subscribe to us on YouTube, and tell your friends. Celebrating Act Two is the user manual for the second half of your life.